The new Git tooling in Visual Studio makes it easier than ever to back up our solutions and projects to GitHub so we can easily work with them from any machine. Whether your team, small or large, or an individual or a hobbyist, this is a great, great benefit. And it's so easy now that once we have our project loaded, like I have right here, a console application, all you have to do is to go to the new menu, Git menu up in the top of Visual Studio and click Create Git Repository. That will show you a dialog that is already pre-filled in with sort of GitHub uh, owners and accounts and stuff if you've signed in. And it gives the name to the repo that we want to create on GitHub. And by default, it's a private repository. That means it's only you that can see it. So it's not open source, so everyone can see uh, your source code is just for you at the moment. But of course, you can just uncheck that checkbox and uh, now it's a public repository. So all we have to do is click create and push. And Visual Studio now in the background will do exactly that. It will create the repository on GitHub and push the code up there. And so if we go and refresh our GitHub page, this is mine, and um, I hit the refresh button, we can now see I have my console app and it's private. And if I click into it, it does show up right here. So that is a super easy way and I'm now under source control. And if I use the new Git changes window, I can see what's going on. I can see what we have incoming, outcoming. And if I make any changes like, let's do a few changes here and save that. We can now see that I get the list of the changes I have and I can easily commit them like updated text. I'm gonna write that and just commit that and push it up to GitHub. Very, very simple. But of course it doesn't end here. There's a lot of features such as being able to create a pull request of what I've just committed, do branch management, very easy, create a new branch, checking them in and out, merging them together. I can do a fetch, pull, pushes, everything right here with a click of a button. To work with existing Git repository, I can now use the new Git top level menu again, but this time I'm gonna click clone repository. And from here I can easily browse my Azure DevOps or GitHub repositories with a click of a button, or I can just paste in any Git URL and click clone. That starts then the cloning process to get the, all the source code down onto my machine. And once that is done, it opens up in Solution Explorer, loading the solution that it found in the repo, and I'm ready to code. Now, if there was more than one solution in the repo, it would have defaulted to the new solution view where I would see a list of my solutions and I could just double click the one I wanted and open it right there. Simple as that. So I wanna make a code change here. So I'm gonna go into this file here and I'm gonna change it to a different value. So doing that, I'm now ready to commit my change and I wanna go to the new git changes window. I wanna go up and fetch just to see if there's any incoming changes. And I can see that there is. Clicking that will open the new Git repository window right here. And I can see all the different branches. I can see the history. And I can also see the incoming commits that are right here that I need to update. I'm gonna just go ahead and uh, commit the change that I just did. I'm gonna say uh, changed app config. And I'm gonna commit and push. Visual Studio notices that there was that change up in the original repository and that I need to do a pull first to get the, all the changes down before I can push my changes up. And I'm just gonna click the button that says pull and push. So that completed with some conflicts. And um, to resolve these conflicts, I'm gonna go into the new merge experience that you see right here. I can see what was in the, on the remote server, I can see that the value here changed to all. And my local machine, my change was to change that same value to all except intranet. And so now I have to make a choice, which do I wanna keep? And in this case, I wanna keep mine. So I'm just gonna click that. And at the bottom, we can see what the result should be. And we could uh, then just write a commit message saying merge completed, like that. Oh, I need to accept the merge. 
and then write merge completed and I'm gonna commit this and push it by clicking the push button like this and so now very very simply I've been able to find the merge conflict and resolve it and push the changes back up to GitHub in a very easy workflow and um, I hope you're really going to enjoy the new Git experience in Visual Studio 2019.